Hello and good evening everyone. My name is Sister Yard and this evening I'm going to speak to you about two root herbs. The first one is ginger. As you can see, it's nice and thick and fleshy. The second one is turmeric, which is long and skinny, but make no mistake about it, this one is very potent. Now, both turmeric and ginger are tropical flowering plants that originated in Southeast Asia, specifically India and China. But today, they are widely available all around the world. As you can see, both the ginger and the turmeric are from the same root family. And the roots are used as spices for flavoring and for many, many health ailments. Turmeric, because of its yellow-orange color, is used for coloring various foods. For example, um, curry and mustard, just to name a few. Both ginger and turmeric have compounds that are very, very beneficial to our health. In the ginger, there's a compound called gingerol. And in the turmeric, there's a compound called cucumin. The ginger dough by itself is packed with loads of vitamins and minerals and many more compounds that are also very good for our health. These root herbs have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. Now, if you're feeling under, under the weather and you're like you're coming down with a cold, not feeling well, what the body does is to produce an inflammatory response. This inflammatory response helps to get rid of the bacteria or the virus that is making you sick. And um, in the process, you have a buildup of mucus or inflammation in the body. So we recommend that you use ginger and turmeric to help get rid of some of that mucus and infl inflammation buildup in the body. These root herbs are also good for digestive problems, nausea, vomiting, and even diarrhea, especially if you're having a lot of bowel movements. They help to decrease high blood pressure and they help to regulate the blood sugar, keeping it kind of normal in the body. Researchers have also found that these root herbs are good for preventing some types of cancer. And the ginger in particular is very good for colds and flu symptoms. Now, how do you use these herbs? So because they're grown in the soil, you want to wash them well to get rid of the dirt and grime. Then you're going to peel or scrape them. Then you're going to slice them or grate them, put them in the pot, boil them and simmer them for about 10 to 15 minutes. You will let it sit for a while and when you're ready to use, you're going to add some lemon juice and a little bit of honey or agave just to make it a little bit more palatable um, to digest. Now, ginger can be used for prolonged periods of time, but turmeric, because of the potency, you will only use maybe two or three times a week. Then after that, you're going to take a break and then you will start again. The reason is because it's potent, you don't want it build up in the body. So this will help you in intervals to see if you're feeling better and if you need to take more of this. Now, the turmeric, for some reason, the researchers have found that if you put a little bit of pepper, um, a dash of cayenne, or a dash of black pepper, it helps enhance the absorption of the turmeric within the body, uh, resulting in, in uh, more benefit to your body. So if you have taken the ginger and taken the turmeric and you're still feeling under the weather, the next best thing that I can recommend is for you to seek medical advice. Go to your doctor to see what else is bothering you. But if you just feel a little bit down, you just want to pick me up, please feel free to have a cup of ginger tea or a cup of turmeric tea and hope that you will feel better. Thank you so much and I hope that this video will help you. Thank you.